This is the fifth annual UK-China Technology Summit, with forums ranging from health to the environment and artificial intelligence. The keynote speaker was Thomas Lindahl, the Nobel Prize-winning chemist. I think the great significance is that it improves international exchange of research, yeah? uh, so that uh, the interaction of Chinese uh, scientists with people in the West uh, is important to improve that as much as possible. Um, both sides will gain from this. Also on the podium was Professor Sai Gu, an expert on clean energy. Regardless of differences, we need to find a way forward. And I believe the science is the best way to bridging the differences, cross the religion, the border, and geopolitics. And being together, I think we can make a difference. This summit provides an opportunity for academics and scientists to meet and exchange ideas. But the vast majority of those attending this event are Chinese students based at universities in the UK. There were also technology exhibitions where some students like graphic artist and web designer Zihan Wang were able to show off their work. I hope that uh, the, uh, the audience that come here can um, learn the something from my website because uh, these uh, events just uh, discussed uh, some of the issues that about the technology, the relationship between the technology and the human beings. Some British firms were also there, this one showcasing its remote-controlled robotic arms. We are here because uh, I think we, are, uh, we want to show our technology uh, across the world, and, and China is a, is a big, big industry. I think our technology could be useful for a lot of Chinese companies out there, and we want to build our help and uh, contribute in the uh, collaboration with, uh, for in UK and China. Scientific exchanges like these may become more difficult in the United States, which is considering ending its long-standing science and technology agreement with China. Here in the UK, despite some opposition, the government has invited China to participate in next month's AI Global Summit in London. Michael Voss, CGTN, London.